What's up everybody? We're here off Smoke Ranch with the Cybertruck. We're gonna be heading to the Craig Road Supercharger. Gonna do a quick top off. We're gonna be testing some supervised full self-driving version 13.2.2. And let's jump in. All right, everybody, we're back in the Cybertruck. Software version 13.2.2. Now I know there's a big update going out right now. It's kind of stalled. There's only about 20 something cars sitting on Wi-Fi. So the update I'm talking about is 45.25.15. It's supposed to be going to AI3 cars and AI4 cars. Hopefully the Model 3 and Y get these soon. Let's go ahead and jump into the navigation, pull up the superchargers. I forgot it's down here for the Cybertruck. We're going to be going to the West Craig Road. So it's about 2.4 miles. You got 18 stalls. All right, we're going to go ahead and press the brake to activate drive. Wait for the FSD wheel. Initiate. We're going to see if we can get out of the parking lot. And these are some busy parking lots out here. So 2.9 miles on route. Right at nine minutes. And where are my glasses? All right, this is not good. This is going to be a fail. I'm going to go ahead and disengage here. So we're trying to get around this truck and she was trying. So let me just pull right around. So disengagement number one. Go ahead and re-engage. Very tight parking lots here. We are preconditioning the battery for fast charging on our route to the supercharger. Currently 388 watt hours per mile on efficiency. We are clear left and right here. All right, we did stop. Now we're gonna to need to creep for visibility. All right, um, we are clear to the left. Got some cars to the right. Kind of have like a little suicide area here. Now we do have lots of traffic coming. And she's taking the initiative, wow. All right, pretty wild there. I mean, that's what a human driver would have done, but I tell you what, that was a surprise for sure. We have our next left turn coming up in a 0.1 of a mile. Take a look at the route here. So it looks like it's gonna be a straight shot through Tanea, the back roads to the Craig Road Supercharger. Uh-oh, pay attention. Got the green protected left arrow. So yeah, currently we have about 172 miles in the battery, 53%. We still have that three months free supercharging, so we're trying to take advantage of that as much as possible. So while we're doing some errands here in the day, we're gonna hit the supercharger top up All right, I'm looking at the road because I wasn't, and it kicked me out of uh, tension monitoring. All right, I'm gonna press the wheel here. Very good. I still have the autopilot off speed. I really like it. I put it at 10%. Five was a little bit too aggressive, but 10%, you're still hitting that max offset pretty quick here in the city streets, which I like. I want it to speed up quick and then hit the max, and then I can adjust it from there. This tends to keep us from speeding as often. 2.2 miles, seven minutes. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but you can hear it. It sounds like a fighter plane, almost like you're engaging uh, regen braking for supercharging, preconditioning. I tell you what, I'm really loving how full self-driving is driving on the Cybertruck. When we, get to, when we jump back into the Model 3, it's a lot faster and aggressive and makes more mistakes. But I like the fast and aggressive, it's just the mistakes part. Where this one's a little bit slower and methodical, creates a little bit fewer mistakes. Got the bus traffic coming up. Quite a big turning lane there on the right. We got the green light, 1.6 miles. Yeah, so we're running out the house to run some errands and Christy's like, do we take the Model 3 or the Cybertruck? I'm mean, let's jump in the Cybertruck. It's still the vehicle that I choose most often. 
I was wondering about that. You know, you have both vehicles to choose from. Do you want to go undercover or not undercover? I don't know. I just love driving the truck. If it wasn't for all the attention, how can I say this? I don't care for the attention, right? I love the vehicle and the styling, the performance and the drivability, everything about it. Just not really the attention. Now we got the green light. Four minutes on route. So peace, peaceful in the Cybertruck. It just like floats around. We do have it in hurry mode at the max 38 offset, 38 miles per hour. Once you go over a certain speed, you can't change the height on the fly. I believe you have to be under a certain mile per hour. Sometimes I want to raise it up while I'm driving, but we're just driving too fast. All right, we have the green light ahead. Changing lanes. Las Vegas, 51 degrees. We finally got a little bit of cool air in last night. The winds have been blowing south for days now. All right, we have our supercharger coming up. Looks like we're going to be cutting through the Albertson Shopping Center. I would probably cut through this one, but it has another idea. It's coming in from, I guess there's more traffic by the doors. So far, so good. Point one of a mile. Do have another cyber truck here. It looks like temp tags as well. All right, we're gonna go around. One thing I like about the Craig Rose, okay, we have a pedestrian in the road, we're slowing down. We got, do, do have the cyber truck here? No tint on those windows. That's rough. All right, we're, we're gonna stop. I'm gonna go ahead and disengage FSD there. Re-engage, just because that car was kind of coming out and I don't know if FSD was gonna cut right in front of them. All right, now we're going around. So what I was thinking is, I love this supercharger because there's so many stalls and it's very, it doesn't get used that often. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take over and we are gonna pull around to the backside. And I hope y'all are having a fantastic day. Definitely do me a favor and smash the like button for me. I love doing these videos. It's just, it's kind of like a hobby, right? We always gotta be moving forward. Always creating. Let's find our lucky stall. Let's see how fast I can back into this supercharger. I love auto park, but it's just not, not that fast. I'm gonna kind of get onto this far side so we can plug in closer. We are close. All right, tap to park. I don't know if we're gonna hit 250 kilowatt speeds at this rate. We're at 167 miles in the battery, which is just over 50%. All right, I've got the supercharger. We got enough length, perfect. And we're plugging in. All right, so I do have the one-time charge limit set to 100%. The truck will hold about 325 miles in the battery. Let me pull up some of the charge stats, see how much the most kilowatts we've actually put into the truck. About 118 kilowatts is the most I've ever put in one session. So I want to say it has a probably like 125 kilowatt hour pack. I can't remember. I need to do my homework. All right, we're slowly ramping up 80 kilowatts. An hour and five minutes to get to 100%. If we went to 90%, it would be 45 minutes. So shave 20 off that. And 80% would be 35 minutes. We 
want to see if we ramp up here. It's going to be, I'm going to say we probably won't get past like 160 kilowatts right now. We're at 83, still warming up. Ideally, when you supercharge, you want to probably be on the low 10, 20% part of the pack so you can take advantage of the full kilowatt charging speed. All right, 84 kilowatts, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the battery. We're gonna switch to auxiliary power and I'm gonna speed it up and we will see you in a minute. guys we're almost done almost 80 percent just one minute remaining i do want to mention that it started out about 80 kilowatts and slowly ramped up to 90 95 now we're at 98 towards the end preconditioning super important on the cyber truck it's a little cool out here today 51 degrees but about 25 30 minutes we added about 90 miles real world charging on the cyber truck and that's going to wrap it up today for today's quick full self-driving video quick supercharged top up and this is the 2024 non-foundation cyber truck satin black wrap thank you so much for watching hit the like button hit subscribe and we'll see you on the next one